All right, here goes week one. We're going to wait with 289.8 like or something. Stupid scale. That way till it gets to zero. Um, is what I expected because I didn't work out that much this week. It's still four pounds. I'm still ha happy about that, but I only worked out three times this week. Um, two times I went to the gym. Once I uh, went to, I worked out in the back on it. We got shred now. So, yeah. I, plus, I was sick half the week. I was really sick. Now, Emmy's sick. At first, Juan was sick, then I got sick, now Emmy's sick, so. Taking Emmy to the doctor tomorrow, but, uh, 285. Yeah, you know, it was mostly my diet. And my diet, way of dieting is horrible. <laughs> it, uh, I, um, I essentially eat, like, I essentially don't eat, like, I don't eat a heavy dinner. I try not to. Uh, I might eat some, like, nuts, or I eat, like, uh, apples and peanut butter or some type of light food like that for dinner. My biggest meal is uh, breakfast. My lunch is pretty decent. I was, I was killing some quesadillas because I figured that's better than eating regular bread. You, you use a little tortilla and I use fat free cheese and then I use some chicken that I smoked on the grill or I do a breakfast quesadilla or, um, or breakfast burrito or some type of thing like that. So that's pretty much what I was doing. I'm gonna try to do a little vlogging today, because today is gonna be a pretty epic cheat day. I wouldn't call it epic, but I'm gonna get some meals in. And right now I'm about to make these. Uh, if y'all ever been to Taco Bell, y'all need to go to Taco Bell breakfast. They got these things called Crunch Wraps. I'll be making my own Crunch Wraps at home. Stay tuned. All right. So what you're gonna need? You're gonna need, of course, tortillas. You're gonna need eggs. You're gonna need. Uh, some type of ranch. I use as a spicy ranch. I can cook literally. I use this Taco Bell Southwest Ranch. Uh, bacon beans. And cheese. I like to use two types of cheese. Uh, both fat free. Mild cheddar. Mozzarella. So, if I wanted to be high speed, I would make like a homemade jalapeno ranch, which I just take some jalapenos and I blend them up into a mush, put them in some light, light ranch, season it a little bit. I might show y'all that one day. But for now, just to be quick, Southwest Ranch. Alright, so first thing you do, put a little ranch on there like this. a little bit. But basically, you want to create what I call the landing zone. Spread that out like that. I get some of this cheddar cheese. Bam. Just like that. Now you want to add your um, hash brown. Now most directions for hash browns is cook it for like um, seven to eight minutes but it still doesn't get crispy and what I did was um, after I cooked it to seven to eight minutes I put it on broil and I toasted it on each side to give the edges a little bit more crispy to hold it together now add a little bit more southwest ranch and you add enough to spread it out over the uh, Over the hash brown. Yes, sir. Boom. 
thing we're gonna have to add to eggs. The best you can use real bacon if you want to cook, cook it, but this saves a lot of time. Put a little or as much as you want. I'm about to use the rest of this bag. But I got more on deck. Alright, now I'm going to add my mozzarella. Once you get to this stage, it's pretty much complete. Um, so you want to make sure if you you can use any type of this is actually a panini maker if you got a George Foreman grill or some kind of sandwich press, you can use anything. So make sure it's all the way turned up to the max. So you want it really hot. Now at this point, see that's hot. Almost burned myself. Go ahead and spray it. So cook and spray. Then I'm gonna go ahead and fold up the um, thing. You can fold it up however you want to. I usually try to fold it up how Taco Bell folds theirs so up. Once you fold it like this, you spin it, and fold it again, in like little triangles. And bam. Once you get it nice, I'll fold it up. Hold it with your thumb like that. And I think I don't flip it over. Give it a little press. And let it cook. The reason why you want it so hot is because it's not gonna stay on there that long. Uh, you just want it on there enough to get the uh, tortilla crispy crispy. Uh, because all the food in there is pretty much cooked already. So you don't need to leave it on there all day. I usually leave it on there for about a minute or so, so we'll fast forward it to when I take it off. All right, I think about right, ready to take off. Been on here for about a minute, and bam! Look at that. Perfectly pressed off the chain. Guess what? I'm having two of these since today's my cheat day. Yes, sir. Emmy, come, Emmy, Emmy, mm. like look, look, she just dropped her pacifier and everything. Hey. Uh. You want to try it? You like it? This is my meal number two. And this is this is a raisin bun or from uh, St. Croix. It's in this first time eating it. Thank you to my mother-in-law. I sent it up. Let me get not all on my thing. Mm. I'm rocking my son. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. 
Michael, you can have that crumb. Let me got a little cold. All of us had a cold. I had a. I think I said that in another video. McGee had a cold. I had a cold. Wanna finish this? And I'll see y'all. Yeah, like. See y'all in meal number three. As y'all saw, my third meal of the day was the Genghis Grill, which I didn't even eat all of it. I only ate like half of it. Um, I'm going to save the rest for tomorrow. It's supposed to be an epic cheat day, but it really wasn't. That's something on my face. It really wasn't that epic. <laughs> it's kind of regular. But this is my fourth meal right here. H2O. My nice big old jug. I don't know how many ounces this is. Um, 74 ounces. <sighs> Try to drink like two of those tonight. At work. Midnight shift. Stay hydrated. So, that is next time. I think my probably post another video. A couple of days go to the gym do some other workouts hopefully if it's not raining thanks for watching talk to y'all later peace